Hey guys, what is up? Today we're going to a vegan Italian deli. Uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna pronounce it wrong, but it's called Gal Galiotos? Gal Galiotos, Galiotos, Galiotos Delicatessen, all right? It's a few blocks from the Canal Street Station. I took the J there, and it's run by the same people that run Ja Ja Ja. If you guys know me, you know that I absolutely love Ja Ja Ja. It's a Mexican restaurant that has four locations now. So my standards are high, not gonna lie. They literally uh, I guess we'll wait for that to go away. They literally opened a few days ago, so like literally like two days. So it's a fresh little baby restaurant. I want to support all the vegan restaurants right now. Uh, it's not a great time for vegan restaurants at the moment. I can only imagine opening one up. Anyway, anyway, let's go get some some Italian deli stuff. I saw somebody buy rainbow cookies there, and that is honestly at the top of my list. I absolutely love rainbow cookies, so. Let's go. Wait up, that can't be true. I have lived here for 27 years, and this is the first I've ever heard of this. That can't be true. Can you imagine like being fined or being arrested for feeding pigeons? On another note, as a New Yorker, does nobody think how strange it is or how interesting it is that Little Italy and Chinatown are like half a block apart. Like you walk out of Chinatown into Little Italy. There's no buffer. Anyway, I don't know why. I don't know why I find that entertaining. I just think it's really neat. And strangely enough, it took me years to figure that out. I don't know why. Little Italy is always so extra. They really took outdoor dining to a whole other level. Look at this. Look at this. I found our destination. Whoever designed or decorated the interior slash exterior decorator of this place gets an A+. They really took the essence of Little Italy and placed it inside of this little shop. When you walk in, there's a whole bunch of dry goods, a coffee menu, and a little fridge with salads and pastas you can choose from. They also have some pickles from the pickle guys. In the middle of the store, there's a beautiful display with spices, some dried goods, and a bunch of seasonal produce. There were so many delicious fruits and vegetables like persimmons and acorn squash, grapes, black garlic, super interesting, a bunch of really neat mushrooms, these purple ones I've never seen before, I don't know what they are. Even purple Brussels sprouts. Of course they had olive and truffle oil. And these super elegant candles that were made by the flower girl. If you'd like to see the menu, here it is. Just pause and read whatever you need to. Let's get straight to the taste test. Okay, Little Italy is a loud neighborhood. Um, so I think this little corner is the quietest we're gonna get. Also, my mask, like, I don't know, created condensation on my eyelashes and now my mascara is everywhere. This has never happened to me before. First off, that place, adorable. So cute. Oh, it's so cold. I have before you a pistachio, a pistachio cappuccino. If you wouldn't have told me this was pistachio, I wouldn't have known. It's not even green. It's good though. Very thick and creamy. Can you guys see? My nose is so cold. Can you guys see the <sighs> steam? Mm. That's pretty good. I got it without sugar and it's still decent. On to the next. Let's bring out the main occasion. It's messy. The main event there is like the pasta salads and stuff and the sandwiches. So of course I had to get a meatball sub. I was torn between this and the caprese, but you need some heft. Do you see the steam coming off of that? So this one specifically uses um, impossible meat for the meatballs. And right now they're using Daya for the cheese, but they will be switching to Numu soon. They literally just opened, so maybe they didn't get their Numu cheese in time before they like open their doors, you know? And it's on rose rosemary bread so like how can this not be delicious I had to take pictures so it's not as ooey gooey as when I first got it but it's still so good oh there's no attractive way to eat this because I have to open my mouth so big I don't know 
if I've been vegan too long, but Impossible Meatball just tastes like meat to me now. Of course they have fresh basil in there. My finger is so cold. I purposefully didn't drive here today because this place is near impossible to find parking. So I was like, I'll take the subway. I'll eat outside in the cold. No, that is not happening on a day where it's 25 degrees outside ever again. Official rating for that sandwich, 9 out of 10. Delicious. Next up we have something also very popular in Italian delis and that is a pesto pasta with pistachios. Pesto pasta with pistachios. But they forgot to give me a fork and I don't want to use my hands. Well, I literally just used my hands on a sandwich. I mean, I didn't sanitize my hands. I'll use my hands. Wow. Yeah, it's not the flavor I was expecting. It's lemon zest. I was like, this pesto is more fragrant than I've ever had. It's pretty good. Eight and a half out of ten. And now we're gonna try maybe like the thing I'm most excited about. It might sound pretty basic to you, but this was my childhood. And I have only had it like once since being vegan. Italian rainbow cookies. These things are the shit. And they're so annoying to make because there's like different layers of cake and then chocolate and then jam. So I haven't taken the time to make them myself. Oh my goodness. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Hoo -hoo. 11 out of 10. The apricot and jam and the cake and the chocolate. Zero logic because I don't like fruit and chocolate, but I swear, in an Italian rainbow cookie, you don't taste the chocolate. I know there's like a thick layer of chocolate on top, but I don't know, dude. I think it's fantastic. Ugh, the cookie with this. I wish it wasn't cold. And I wish like we didn't have mask guidelines and stuff right now because that spot is so adorable. Can you imagine the Instagram photos that can be taken in there? I tried to take a few cute ones. It wasn't really working. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Whew, it is cold, I need to go home. The place was delightful. Honestly, exceeded all my expectations. The little grocery section, the fresh produce section is definitely like more of a specialty goods section since everything's seasonal. You don't really go there for your regular shopping, you go there when you want like a specialty ingredient or something, but it's so cute. People were so nice. The portions are super generous. The sandwich I showed you was only half the sandwich. It's easily two sandwiches per sandwich do you know what i mean there's so many neat products to try if you're someone who likes to try new vegan products like me and the pistachio milk cappuccino was truly a delight before my fingers freeze off i'm gonna head home this place is definitely hype a cute little cafe with sandwiches like if you like subscribe if you want to subscribe if you want to follow me on instagram where i post every single day i'll put my instagram right here and that is all i have for today i will talk to you next time goodbye shout out to all my patrons but especially my bodega bosses and my og bodega babes Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Crates, Alan, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Angie, Matt, and Jasmine. You guys are the absolute best and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.